Okay. Good morning, everyone. Hi. Good morning. Yes. Okay. Um, I think we are live now. Um, okay. Welcome to our part three. Uh, Meta ads for real estate sales agent. Um, this is from Click Ads Marketing. My name is Roland. I'm your Meta Ads business partner. And today's topic: How to promote your existing posts and real ads. And welcome to our one-hour crash tutorial for sales agents on how to get leads and sales in seven days by setting up your meta ads and our Facebook. Okay, welcome. So how's everybody? How's the weekdays going on? How's your week? Anyway, recap from our last workshop. Okay. Day one, we tackled about the four course of our Facebook ads. No, we, we need to find out who are our target buyer. And we tried to use the AI or the chat GPT for our content or the copywritings. And what is the method or what are the methods we can use for copywriting? Okay, then number three, we also create some basic, basic ad creatives. No, we define what is brand, coloring, fonts, all right, logo, how to use them to make your, your creatives be more, um, branded and professionally look. Okay, number four, lastly, we discuss about how to set up your campaign structure in Facebook ads or meta ads. That was in day one. And day two, um, we also create a lead form inside the meta business suite. Okay, we use, um, we create also the create some creative ads for the banner for the lead form. We set up the lead form for meta ads in two ways and then we set up meta ads campaign for your lead generation. That's number four. In, that was in day two. And lastly, on day two, we also I show to you how to download your leads or your gathered information using your lead form. Using your lead form inside the meta meta business suites. Okay, day three. Um, this will be how to use your how to create a real ad video i mean your real reels facebook reels using canva and then how to use meta business suite we're going to use that and then we also going to promote your existing post by using um, meta ad structure also and set up also for your facebook ad campaign message messaging campaign that's redundant Okay, let's do this. Sorry with that. So, okay. So, just be with me. Uh, I'll be with you. <laughs> and we'll try to discuss discuss things about this. So, we're going to start first in Canva. Okay. So, we're going to go to Canva interface. If you don't have your Canva account, try to get one. But for the our our presentation, I use a paid one. So um, the paid one is has more advantages, especially in elements and other um, uses. Okay, we are here it inside the Canva. Um, first, we go to video. Let me check first our, I cannot see, let me check for a while, okay, I think we're live. Okay, so, I'm sorry with that, I, I need to check my monitor. Okay, so we are here inside the Canva and I, I select video. 
Then we are going to look for 1080 mobile video, 1080 by 1920 pixel. Click that. Okay. So here, this is a 1080 by 1920 pixel. This is a mobile video. Every time you're going to upload a a video reel or a Facebook reel for your for your content, okay, it should be like this. No, use 1080 by 1920 for a pixel video. Okay, then at for the presentation, I'm going to look for a video. Okay, then if you have your recordings from your mobile phone, that's good enough. Um, that's, uh, I think, uh, I recommend to use that, especially for those doing ocular visits, no? Try to make a video with that. So, how's, let's go for house front. So first, um, we are going to look for a facade of a house. Try to show first. Okay. Wait. Uh, you need to add some, add a grid, grid frames. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, and then go back to your video. So, the first thing you need to show for your client is the front of the house. Okay. Uh, for this for the presentation only, I'll be using some video stocks. Okay. Okay, let's try to play that. So, okay, this is too long. We need to cut this into as much as possible, three seconds. Okay. So let's try to look for another Another video. What about this? This one. Let's try this one. What about this? I think this is okay now. Then let's add more. Okay, duplicate that. Then let's try to look for a living room. So what we're going to show for your client is the, the parts of the project. Okay, we want to show for Okay, then let's look for a bedroom. So, every time I create a video for my presentation, I always start from the, the facade of the project or the property, for example, the house. And then the living room, and then the bedroom, okay? And then 
if you're selling a two bedroom then you need to add another room okay so try this one they look similarity because of the color okay see all right so we are add more videos video clips so let's try for the kitchen so it's somehow similar to a virtual um tour no so that's the way we're going to build or to create our video reels i mean your facebook reel so we want to show the, the kitchen area i think this one is okay okay i think that's uh basically for the time i think 25 to 30 seconds is good enough not to uh, make it drag about it no not to be bored boring okay so let's just marisa marisa uh it's my it's my short for meta ads for real estate sales agent i <clears throat> FB real ads. Okay. All right. So now we are in the last part. The important part of your video is your call to action and your contact information. In this case, I'm just going to copy from templates of Canva. Not copy. Just just to get the um the format. But we're going to edit that. Okay. can add this and you can do this no you can add your image if you want to but I would suggest I'd rather add the image of a uh, I mean this stock image of your target buyer let's just say you want to target your target buyer as a doctor or a engineer no so you can add that so every time they would see the video the um, the ads is relating to me or talking to me something with that effect okay so given this this is for example this is your logo okay okay you can add this okay okay And then you can do some a little caption. You can edit that. I made one already, so I'll just try to copy this. Okay. So it's too long. Okay, we'll try to. Okay, as much as possible, we try to make it short, long, and readable. Okay. Remove that. Let's remove emojis. Stop it. Ready. All right. So try to compress this. All right. So a little bit bigger than that. I. it okay 
so he wants to highlight that okay so the contact information should be here so we try to look for another the one with the contact number There you go. Let's try here. So in Canva, there are templates you can copy, but not exactly. No, you just at least you have the idea how to and where to place details like contact numbers, right? So we're going to copy to shift. Then control C, then back here. Okay. If it's not readable, try to make it highlight. Okay. okay let's make it darker now. We want to change the background here. Let's try to change this. Uh, yeah. it's this one. Let's change the color. We want to be branded, so relatable. It's too dark. Let's make it dark and then we'll try to so you need to try to in contrast so if you have a dark color background then the element should be lighter more okay so this one is go to layer and group then change it to a bit more okay so change this for if you have a website that's good but if you don't have you can add your Facebook page if you have your Facebook page business page for your properties or projects okay so we'll try to change this into brown because our we want make it more color branded, right? So so that's how you do it, no? Right? So what else do you want to see? There is no contact, you know. You need, um, call to action. This one is a call to action. Buy now. Let's do. Let's just copy this. Okay. That's one way of. I would say. That's how I, you know, build my creatives. I try to make it more easier and fast. Okay. Are you following guys? Okay. Stir up back in here. Let's add some background. That's it. Change color, make it more brown. You know, let's make it more lighter. And this one is brown more darker All right. okay so let's edit the effect I don't want to make it more less 
less roundness spread right all right so so far so good so we're going to play our video oh no uh we have to wait uh, we have to edit first the the videos we want to make it not more than 30 so okay where's the 10 seconds you can create this for let's just say three three seconds maximum and then find the highlights okay if you have a video when you edit always look for the highlights of the property okay and then it's this one Let's try to get more edit here it's three seconds Let's find the shortcut play and repeat video. Okay. Go for three seconds. following just guys I'm using Canva Pro so in the free free version of Canva I don't think that it has a video edit okay so you need to pay for it I am I'm using Canva Pro with 200 99 per month that almost hundred three dollars per month okay so okay for the wait what happened okay here we want to make some adjustment with the contacts because this is where the your client should be stay a, li a little bit more no because um you want to present what's what more you're offering no so okay five seconds that will work to man okay let's delete this see okay so we try to play this without um music so let's try to look see that's how easy when you edit your video right so so we're going to add some transitions to make it more nicely Okay. All right. So apply all betweens, and then we try to make some a little text here, something like a headline thing. Looking. Okay. Wait. Come, uh, let's think a uh, headline thing. You know, your dream home awaits. 
so let's try to copy that your your dream home put it here slide and let's try to make it more let's find a font that is okay let's try this so change that into more lighter and then home wait so we change the font into that's is it center you have to center this one edit um let's try to let's do the same thing okay change make it brown all right so a little you want this on top Try to make it more. Yes, that's it. And not too tight. Right. So so we're going to make add some animation. What do you prefer? Prefer this one. Okay, so let's try to, you know, in your Reels, no, you can add your voiceover while, while the video is playing, you add your voice there explaining things or saying something about your projects, you know, that gives you more authenticity and more knowledgeable about your project, okay, so what's next? Can we add music? Yes, we can add Canva has it background music. Um, it seems we are in live mode. I, I'm not sure if I could play some music, but I'm going to show you how to add this. I might block by, I might restricted by Facebook ad. So, I mean the Facebook live. Okay, so here, I just add some music. Let's play some. Okay, something like that. Or 
if you want some voice over using AI, I, I, I made some. I want to show you this. Okay. Here, I have some. I used to create one before. Okay, I'll, I'll show you this. Wait. Pardon me with my internet connection, you know. Come on. What's happening? In real life. Okay. Let's try to escape. In real estate, understanding your audience is crucial for uh, see. effective marketing. Your target market for high. All right. So something with that effect, I cannot show you more because I might restricted by free properties. In real estate, understanding your audience. Yeah, it's like something like that. All right, after creating your 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 Facebook reel for your project, um, where you're going to download this. Okay, so Okay, I'll just remove this. Let's add the AI voice. I'll try to lower the volume. Okay, let's add some. How to how to add your voice your voice record voice over how to add you go to your uploads then click audio then uploads we'll try to add some here So let's just, this one is for presentation. At least you have the idea. Hey, um, wait, excuse me. Hey, so let's play this. In real estate, understanding your audience is crucial for effective marketing. Your target market for high-end properties. Target market one, age and income, age range. Okay, so just like that, uh, you have to lower also the, you have to balance this the volume for the music and for your voice. No, you have your voice over with you in the background music. You need to balance that. Okay, right. So let's download this. Okay. Um. Right. So it's MP4. Download. Okay, let's just wait for that. While waiting for that, we're going to um to our meta business our Facebook regular Facebook page okay okay so here inside your Facebook page you have to upload your your reel, the one we 
did a while ago. Click real. Let's just wait. In real estate, understanding your audience is crucial for effective marketing. Your target market for high-end properties. Target market 1. Age and income. Age range. Typically, buyers of high-end properties are between 35 to 65 years old. In real estate, understanding your audience is crucial for effective marketing. Your high-end properties are between 35 to 65 years old. In real estate, Understanding your audience is crucial for effective marketing. Your target, mar target market 1. Age and Publish. income. Age range. Typically, buyers of high-end property. Okay, so let's check. Okay. Now we go to be biz Meta Business Suite. here inside your meta business suite um if you notice our creative reel it's already here what we're going to do is going to the content and then inside your con copy real ID Okay, copy that and then we go here Okay, and then copy So Now we're going back to your Facebook page you go to your menu and then you need to open your ads manager okay we're going to create one create click create wait let's wait there you are then select engagement continue Select manual engagement, continue. Alright, so edit campaign name Marisa Prack 4. Alright, so engagement. Um, Advantage campaign budget of skip skip A B test skip special ads categories you skip. Um, most of you will ask me again why uh, it's because advantage campaign budget is ideal for scaling up. Okay, and also the A, A and B test also ideal for scaling up, and you want to control the on the campaign the C B O. You want to con you want the CBO to control your your budget, okay? But in our case, our initial campaign is we're going to use none of this, okay? So click next inside your inside your ad set engagement ad set. This is where we're going to um, set up, okay? So let's say, um, what's that? Marisa Proc Proc Four. Okay. So change message. It's messaging up. Change Facebook page. Okay. So let's look for here. Click ads. And click WhatsApp. If you have an Instagram, you can connect an Instagram account here. Okay, 
performance goal, choose maximize number of conversations, okay, skip bid control, because you want to control your budget, so go for 300 per day, my daily budget, I'll start my campaign tomorrow, okay, that's 4, should be to start 12 in the morning, why? Because this is to give more ample time, to give more time with for the ample time for Facebook algorithm. Okay, four plus seven, eleven, right? Seven days. Okay, then finish it before eleven p.m. Okay. So, audience control, okay, skip that, or you save. You can edit your location target here. You want to target the Philippines, you want to show your, your ads for the whole Philippines, you can do that. But since that you do, you only have 300 pesos per day budget, then the 300 pesos but it's not enough, right? So here we're going to target Metro Manila. Okay, we want make sure that our target is broad. Okay, estimated 35 to 600 million. And click this. Okay. We don't want to mess around our budget, so we want to control it. Okay, so let's move. So we're going to choose the advantage plus OGENS. Um, the targeting audience that will be on the next tutorial but for now I prefer to use the advantage plus audience I want I want Facebook to use his own magic or the, his algorithm okay to find my target buyer okay if you're going to use the um, Facebook targeting method you can do that okay then choose placement we choose advantage plus okay so we we want to make we want facebook um to use his own algorithm you no know, to find the better placement okay so let's go next Okay, we'll go here. Marisa, prop four. Okay, skip that. Very good. So, create ad. Instead of create ad, we're going to choose use existing posts, right? So, we're going to select our posts. Or, or we can enter. Where are we? Or we can enter the post ID we copy. I hope this time will work. Okay. Because the last time, I'm not sure what happened. Okay. So. I see I think that's I don't know what's happening anyway we can use select pose here cup there okay okay we will edit that later so select message okay so Right, so 
Let's try again. I'm not... A valid promotable post with this ID was not found for the selectable. Why is that? I don't know. Anyway, at least you have the idea. Um, all you have to do is just change post. You look for the post you want to promote. Just choose your existing post on the ad setup. Okay. All right. So we good on that. Let me know if you have a question. Okay. Now in your message template, I used. I used to have a, I think we have already the existing one here. We already created a set of questions, okay? So if you recall on our day one, we discuss about who is our target then. So we target our, we target the doctors, okay? So the questions will be relatable more on the doctor, okay? Are you a doctor looking for a luxury home? close to your workplace, tired of long commutes after a hectic shift, but if your dream house was just miles away, searching for a peaceful and modern space return, oh, those are the questions, busy day in the medic, so it's more related to our target buyer, okay, I think we're done here, uh, tracking, you don't have a website yet, it's okay, fine, and then let's review our ads, okay, So here, the okay. So this is how you look like. You have your messaging campaign here, and you have your real ads. So that's how you do it. Okay. All right. So I have to save that. Okay. So save it and then remember our discussion of, from uh, about the Facebook ad structure you need to create another video uh, usually it's three to five videos so we need to let's just see you already have those five reels you already uploaded all you have to do to make it five of your five of them your ad copy need to duplicate them right so this is saying we want to duplicate this since you already have one we need more four okay duplicate so that's it okay then you edit the four new ad copy with uh, new ad reels okay so that's it after that then click publish all right so that's all about it so just for the recap okay so for the recap on our day three we use, uh, we create a real video real or video for Facebook no using canva we use meta business suite to copy your ad real and then we use existing posts of our meta ads okay and set up Facebook ads messaging campaign all right so that's all about it that's the one hour crash tutorial for your meta ads for his real estate agent Okay, I hope you learned something today, you get something new, then hoping you launch your your Facebook messaging campaign with the real ads and then uh, hoping you get sales and more inquiry and more profits, okay? So it has been, this is me, Roland from Click Ads Marketing, your meta business suite, okay? Um, looking for more uh, if you have questions uh, free 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 to message me or comment and make a comment on oh, don't forget please hit the like button you know subscribe make a comment like and share so
Okay, I think that's all about it. Um, looking for you next week. We're going to do some car dealership for Meta Ads again. This one for car sales agent. All right. So thank you. Goodbye. Peace.